Hey guys, welcome back to Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, I want to share with you 73 new Harbor Freight coupons. These go through June 18th, and one of these coupons to me is brand spanking new. I haven't seen this style or format coupon in the past. We've seen maybe some different variations, but to me, this one is new. And for you guys have, that have been around the program for a while, I think I first started posting Harbor Freight coupons in 2016 on my website. And then in 2018, I started actually cataloging them and kind of tracking them. Anyway, the point is I've seen thousands of the damn coupons and I haven't seen this one before. So I think it's likely you haven't seen it before as well. We're going to get to that in one second. So we have 73 new coupons go through June 18th. These other ones we're going to mostly breeze through because I'm really interested in uh, this new format. But... Sign up for the email list right here on the website. You'll be the first to know when the new Harbor Freight coupons come out as far as also the parking lot sales and things of that nature. Uh, people who are on that email list are getting that email right now, right now. So it'll definitely be sent out before the, the video gets posted. So first we're looking at the, the regular coupons, the traditional ones that we've seen before. I kind of like this Grant's bucket insert for washing your car and everything $3.99 that's got to be a somewhat newer item or maybe newer two coupons because I don't remember seeing it around this Quinn half inch drive extendable breaker bar $24.99 what it's only five dollars off I would not touch that for nothing because I believe it was even recalled but I could be wrong on that Harbor Freight had their ratcheting breaker bar I actually did a, a post on it it's not a recall. They're getting sued over their ratcheting breaker bar because it was exploding and breaking on people. So here's the thing about a breaker bar. When I use a breaker bar, I want it to be simple. I don't want it to be ratcheting. I don't want it to be extendable. The only thing that's going to do is break my face. Okay, just regular breaker bar. So anyway, I wouldn't mess with that. If I think about it, I'll link to uh, that news article down below. Otherwise, you can go to this tool news section and, and find it in the list there. I do like the 60-inch aluminum bar clamp right here for $14.99. That seems like a pretty good deal. This is something that it's the One Stop Gardens is a Harbor Freight brand, but these are available through a bunch of different companies. I actually bought hundreds and hundreds of these. It's a three-pack of LED solar lights. I was actually selling them for like $15 a piece on ebay and menard sold the exact same thing under there i believe it was their patriot lighting brand uh several years ago but they had a deal where you could get them for two dollars a piece so i went to several stores and bought every bit of stock they had i know what a prick and i made a lot of money off those it was actually pretty good at one time they're kind of neat though little little stakes that go on the ground Eleven ninety nine for the double end flare nut wrench set Eh, let's not blow my hair back for 12 bucks. Okay, so we got the 1,000 pound capacity engine support bar. Not sure how I'm going to use that on the old 350, but I'll do a video letting you know. $29.99 for the Bauer jigsaw. It's not a terrible deal. Corded, don't have to worry about having one of their batteries. I did not look at these at all before starting the video. One fifty nine ninety nine on this solar panel kit. It always used to be one forty nine ninety nine, and um, you can get. I mean, it's only a hundred watts. You can get better deals on Amazon pretty regularly. This little battery charger here used to always be ninety nine ninety nine. We talked about it just in the last video. That's what I paid for. It works well, but sucks that it's $30 more. Got the Icon cabinet, $29.99. Okay, well, real quick. The $54.99 rechargeable underhood work light. In some ways, I think that's kind of a good deal. The only thing I don't like is normally I do like something that is rechargeable, and I like that you're not stuck with a specific battery platform, but... I wonder how difficult it is to remove the battery or change out the battery when it no longer works. The original Braun Slim Bar Light had a terrible 18650 battery in it went back when I got it when it was first released. I don't know if since they've ever made any changes to that, but 
the battery life was absolutely pitiful, so I ended up putting a different 18650 battery in it, and it's worked well for me, although it's kind of cracked and broken and taped back together, it still lights up, so that's good. If it's that easy on this one, then I would buy it and see what they put in there, and most likely end up upgrading to something with a longer battery life, because if you have to constantly recharge it, then that sucks. But also, if it's just a cheap-ass battery that after a few cycles of charging and discharging, it won't hold a charge anymore, that sucks too. So, in that way, I really like my DeWalt one because it uses 12 or 20 volts. It's already in DeWalt's lineup, have a million DeWalt batteries, slap them on, bam, works forever. So, I think some of the particulars kind of change whether that's a good item or not, but it has potential. So the coupon I've never seen before is this 15% off for the U.S. General Series 2 44-inch cart, and I have it pulled up here. So, look, we've seen similar coupons as far as getting 15, like, you know, they do the 15% off for everyone, 20% off for Inside Track Club members, and it'll be for an entire brand. Or they obviously have the 20% coupons or the 25% coupons that have more exclusions than anything else you walk in the store and they might as well put like a little table out that this is these are the items that the coupon actually works for never mind the rest of the store that's excluded and they have like the five dollar tool sale or if you spend 35 dollars they got the bucket thing where you buy the bucket you got the free coupons so they have all these different variations and they've had something similar to this but i've never seen a percentage off on a specific model a specific skew over there so I'm kind of wondering if that's a new trend, if they're testing it out, if this is the way things are going to go. And my initial thought was, because the price of these has jumped so much, instead of showing the before and after prices, just show a percentage off. And then if you don't know what the current price is, you you know, you have you have to do more work. You know, just there's no cursory just glancing at it and knowing the type of discount that you're getting. So I pulled it up on Harbor Freight's website, and it's currently listed at $579.99. Of course, they have the million different colors for it. So 15% off gets you down to about $493 for the $44 inch US General. Of course, this is series two, series three coming, you know, whatever, but $579.99 down to $493. Now, if we look at, this was one of the first coupons that I posted of this model number, and this is when I actually started cataloging these. So back in 2018, I was even dumber than I am now, so I manually typed this shit in for every single coupon. Think of that coupon book that used to come out that would have like 300 coupons in it. I would manually type U.S. General this whole thing, and then every one of these numbers for every coupon in that book. It was hours and hours every single month. And then all the coupons that came in the magazine. So here's the thing. That's when I started watermarking it because people would repost my coupons on other sites and everything. I thought, God damn it, I spent so much time on that. No, no, we're not, you know. So this was back in 2018, the regular price Let's at $4.79 and then a coupon price of $4.49. And that was consistent for several years. So if we then go up to 2021, the regular price now is showing $4.99. So for this coupon, $20 more. And the coupon price was the same. So a little bit more of a discount on that. And neither of these are huge discounts. I mean, this is even at the higher original price. This is only $50 off on a nearly $500 item. It's a 10% discount. So it's not the most amazing coupon in the world, but hey, you know, decent price or whatever. So we are fast forwarding from 2018, then 2021, and then we're jumping up to today. So now our regular price is about $100 more than what it originally was. And then we're getting a 15% discount instead of the 10% discount that we were looking at before, bringing us down to a price point kind of in the middle of where the discount started and where it ended. And honestly, the way a lot of other stuff at Harbor Freight is gone, I thought those numbers were going to be more drastic than what they actually were. Because the coupon price on like the uh, the wood chipper that we talked about in I think it was either the uh, parking lot sale video or the last coupon video, that thing's jumped like $200 in price and it's, it was a $300 item. So that $200 jump is even more drastic than a $100 jump here on a more expensive item. So I don't think it's totally terrible. I'm more interested in the format now of 15% off on a specific item number. 
And are they going to do that more often? It definitely makes it more difficult to track. Because before, you could just look at the coupon. Like, we're looking at these other two coupons. Oh, I can see they listed anyways, and this was kind of bullshit and would change anyways. But $479.99 down to $449. And then I could see $499 down to $449. Here, I don't know what the hell, you know, there's no numbers that are any relevance really at all as far as uh, a tracking or comparison. So I just think it's kind of neat. Um, and I want to see if they go further with this. It's kind of weird to do this rather than just those brand wide coupons, or sometimes it's like all brawn lighting or, you know, whatever. So only time will tell, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I will put a link down below to these 73 coupons if you need it. And I'm updating this one specific page for all the coupons. So Join the email list or just bookmark this guy and check back with it every once in a while. And I'm going to put a heading up with the expiration date for each one and just keep adding. And when we do like the Memorial Day coupon was here. And if they have anything coming up, we'll have that on this page as well. And I'll also try and remember to link that uh, exploding ratchet article uh, down below as well if you want to check that out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe for a nice subscriber. I'll see you guys next time.